procrastination 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 oh hi uh, I was just uh, I was just playing my guitar uh, I have a lot of things I need to do and you know, I don't really want to do all that many of them, so I kind of uh, end up uh, playing the guitar or, you know, surfing Facebook, uh, maybe uh, making videos or any number of other things uh, to not have to, say, write up a psychological evaluation or some other task that I find particularly onerous. Uh, and uh, I have a feeling I'm not the only one. In fact, I hear a lot about this in my practice from my clients uh, as well as, of course, in my everyday life. So the, we all procrastinate uh, to varying extents. Some of us are more invested in procrastination than others, shall we say. What, what's to be done and, and what is this all about anyway? Well, obviously, from a behavioral point of view, Procrastination is a form of avoidance, right? I mean, I don't like writing psych reports. I like having them done, uh, but I don't, I don't like writing them. And so I avoid it. Plain and simple. Or is it that simple? I mean, right now, the one I'm supposed to write, someone's going to pay me like $1,000 as soon as I hand it to them. You would think that would provide incentive. It makes me wonder a little bit, might there not be something a little more, even a little more than mere avoidance of something aversive going on there? Well, no, there isn't anything more than mere avoidance of something aversive. But it turns out that mere avoidance of something aversive is rather interesting because it involves several act processes. So as good ACT students and good geeks, let's look a little bit at that. So first of all, the big one is fusion. Yes, I am very, very fused with certain thoughts. I guess the main thought is it will be very unpleasant to write that report. It will be very, very unpleasant to write that report. I will, I will I just have this picture in my mind of sitting down and writing it and, and of just going and then surfing on Facebook and trying not to surf on Facebook and going through this whole kind of script that I've been through many times before doing similar tasks. And, and, and I stop right there because that is all so real to me. I'm convinced that that's exactly what's going to happen. The thing is that it hasn't happened. This report has not been written, so we, I actually don't know how it's going to go, but I'm convinced that I do know, and that's what we mean by fusion. I'm taking my own thoughts very seriously. So there's fusion. Okay. So um, obviously cognitive diffusion would be a process we could apply uh, to help, help me uh, get my report done of noticing that that's the thought I'm having and that uh, that is my mind, that is one of my own thoughts, it's not necessarily truth from on high. Uh, we might look a little bit at workability, is, is that thought helping me to accomplish my goals? True or, true or not, is it really useful? And so forth. Uh, we might also look at present moment processes, because while I'm having that thought, or series of thoughts, and little movies about what it's going to be like to write that report. I'm not really here, you know. It's like there, 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 there's a here, there's a here and now, there's, 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 a, there's a computer screen here and now, there's, there's this body here now, there's this room which sounds like this. Here now, whatever that sounded like. And none of those things are, are uh, supporting in any way uh, this little fantasy I have about how unpleasant it's going to be to write this report. So we have uh, diffusion or fusion, 
processes. We have contact at the present moment or losing contact when I'm having these thoughts. I'm not really present to uh, present moment stimuli. Uh, so it helps me get more immersed in this fantasy I have that's getting in my way. Uh, we, we might also talk about, of course, willingness, that it might be worth having some unpleasant thoughts and feelings uh, if, for the sake of getting this report written. We might talk about values. We might talk about, uh, well, what is that um, report going to do for um, the, the person who gets it? Uh, uh, might I be willing to ignore phone calls that are coming in from insurance companies uh, to get this uh, video done? And I, the answer to that is absolutely yes. But I might also be willing to feel uncomfortable and have uncomfortable thoughts and feelings to get the report written. And that would be a values uh, process. And so it sort of helps start illustrate how we can take a problem like procrastination, which looks simple and in some ways really is simple, but then through the lens of the hexaflex of ACT of those six processes, we can start to see how um, there's a lot of, of hooks to grab a hold of. As simple as it may seem, it's not as simple as just do it. Although if just do it helps, then okay, just do it. But often that doesn't help. Um, you know, we might talk about self as context. You know, we might start looking at how I identify with the content of my experience, of the content of this aversive report writing process, and I'm losing touch with a, a bigger me, a bigger me that's part of everything I've ever experienced. And uh, in the context of everything I've ever been and how much I wanted to be a psychologist and how I bothered to do all kinds of uh, training to get here, I guess there's a little bit of values in there, but bringing up those memories is sort of a selfish context maneuver, uh, placing into that broader context the current behavior of avoidance. Well, I have succeeded in procrastinating for several minutes uh, creating this video, and uh, I'm really glad that you uh, watched it, and uh, I'm just going to get back to work now, okay? Have a, uh, have a good uh, thing.